Well, I've come along today to the railway station at Lengwithby, which is on the Settle to Carlisle line, which runs between Carlisle and Leeds. The station is situated about 19 miles to the southeast of Carlisle, and it serves the village of Lengwithby in Eden, Cumbria. It's owned by Network Rail, and it's managed on a day-to-day -day basis by Northern Trains. The station was built by the Midland Railway and opened in 1876. The station was designed by the Midland Railway Company architect, John Holloway Sanders. It closed, along with many of the other stations on the line, when local stopping trains over the Settle Carlisle line were withdrawn in May 1970, but was later reopened by British Rail in July 1986. I really like the station building at Langworthby. It's a really good example of the medium-sized Midland Railway design and it's been converted into a tea room, the Brief Encounter Tea Room, along with an antique shop. We're looking now at the waiting shelter which is on the Settle to Leeds platform and this has been lovingly restored by the friends of the Settle Carlisle Railway. Looking at passenger numbers for Langwithby Station, they were increasing and were up to a high of 22,000 a year back in 2019. But when the COVID pandemic hit the country in 2020, numbers fell very sharply to just 3,000 a year. I really do like the way that the stations along the Settle to Carlisle line have been lovingly cared for and restored. They really are beautiful and it is a pleasure to spend time at these stations. Langwithby has step-free access which is available on both platforms via ramps. There's also train running information available via timetable posters as well as digital information screens. There are eight northbound and seven southbound services which call it Langworth B on weekdays as well as five trains in each direction on Sundays. The name Langwithby can be translated as Long Ford Village and this refers to the fording of the River Eden 
which runs along the edge of the village. The village of Lengwithby is on the A686, which runs between Penrith, Alston and Hexham. It's claimed to be one of the ten most scenic roads in the world. I've just driven along it and it is really beautiful. Lengwithby is five miles from the M6 Junction 40. It has a large village green occupying the centre of the village and is bordered by cottages, farmhouses and a pub, the Shepherd's Inn. Children still dance around the Maypole on the village green on the third Saturday in May. Originally, the Maypole was a pagan symbol representing fertility. It was decorated mostly with flowers and wild garlands. The May Dance itself was a festival in honour of Flora, the goddess of flowers, and celebrated the rite of spring. The plating of ribbons around the pole was not practised in England until the Victorian philanthropist and art critic John Ruskin introduced it in 1881. Besides the village green is St Peter's Church, built in 1718, but with some parts inside dating from medieval times. The Bailey Bridge over the River Eden was built in 1968 to replace a sandstone bridge that had been swept away by floods. The bridge was meant to be a temporary measure and as such is listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the longest lasting temporary bridge in the country. Every year in July, the village is transformed as villagers compete to create the best scarecrow.
Well, I've now arrived at the railway station at Lazenby and Kirkoswold. And it's conveniently situated for Lazenby, but Kirkoswold is about a mile away to the east. Once, this was one of the busiest goods stations on the line, dominated by livestock traffic. Sheep were brought from Scotland, rabbits were sent to Yorkshire, and fish from the River Eden were sent to London in special boxes. The goods shed has now been taken over by the thriving bakery business, Bells of Lazenby. Both villages have very fine, though different, churches. In Lazenby is the Church of St Nicholas, whereas in Kirkoswold it's the Norman Church, St Oswald. Lazenby and Kirkoswold Station is on the Settle Carlisle Line, which runs between Carlisle and Leeds. The station is situated about 15 miles to the southeast of Carlisle and not only serves the villages of Lazenby and Kirkoswold but also Great Salkeld in the district of Eden in Cumbria. It's owned by Network Rail and managed on a day-to-day -day basis by Northern Trains. The station was opened by the Midland Railway Company on the 1st of May 1876 and was designed by the Midland Railway Company architect John Holloway Sanders as was the case at Lengwithby. Originally called Lazenby, the station was renamed Lazenby and Kirkoswold on the 22nd of July 1895. Like many of the other stations on the line, it was closed in May 1970 when local passenger services between Skipton and Carlisle were withdrawn. The platforms and buildings survived and following several years of use by Dales Rails Excursions it was reopened on a full-time basis in July 1986. The station buildings today are in use as offices and the nearby goods shed is also in commercial use. The southbound platform has a beautifully restored stone shelter, but the station itself is not fully DDA compliant. There's no ticket machine or booking office, so tickets have to be bought in advance or on the train. Train running information is available via information boards, and there's also digital display boards. Looking at passenger numbers, well, they were averaging around 13,500 passengers a year, but at the start of the pandemic, 2020, those numbers dropped to under 2,000 a year.
parish church of St Nicholas at Lazenby occupies a prominent position looking over the Eden Valley and was rebuilt in 1864 to a design by Anthony Salvin. The village is located about eight miles to the northeast of Penrith and it has one church, one chapel, two pubs, a primary school, a retained fire station as well as a Lakes and Dales cooperative supermarket and post office. There's a livestock auction, swimming pool and campsite. Kirkoswald Methodist Youth Guild have been doing a local pantomime for more than 40 years in the local village hall. They meet up and do other activities throughout the year, but the pantomime has become somewhat of a local legend and people come from far and wide to see it. Since 2008, there has been a biannual music concert which takes place on the school field. The festival's purpose is to raise money for the local school and other local charities. The nearby village of Kirkoswold was given its market charter in the 13th century. The village has one main street rising up a steep hill, passing through a former marketplace with its two pubs, the Crown Inn and the Featherston Arms. The village name means Church of St Oswald, the parish church being dedicated to St Oswald, King of Northumbria. The body of Oswald is believed to have been taken through the village. The church lies on the southern edge of the village overlooking the River Eden, close to the bridge connecting Kirkoswald to Lazenby. St Oswald's church is unique in having a 19th century bell tower on top of a hill, 200 yards from the church itself. Today, the village has a shop that houses a post office. There's a Methodist church, along with a well-attended primary school. Until recently, there were further shops, including a butcher's and a branch of the Midland Bank. Well, I've really enjoyed my visit today to Langwithby and also to Lazenby and Kirkoswold. Two beautiful stations, very well maintained, on the Settle to Carlisle line, as well as looking at the communities which they serve. I hope you can join me for part two of the Stations of the Eden Valley, where I'll be visiting Armithwaite Station on the Settle Carlisle line, as well as Brampton Station on the Tyne Valley line. I'll also be taking a look back at a rail journey I made in March of this year when I visited the lovely station at Weverell and Corby Bridge. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until the next time, from me, Stephen Bennett, bye bye.